Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 98 of chapter 13. The particle has a mass of 0.5 kg and it's confined to move along the smooth vertical slot. So again, a smooth, no frictional force. Due to the rotation of arm OA. So as this arm is rotating with the angular velocity of 2 radian per second, uh, this can or this uh, particle is going up we need to find the force that the rod is acting on the particle so this is the force that this rod is acting on the particle again if this is the direction of r that force would be perpendicular and would be in the direction of theta the rod is rotating with a constant angular velocity, so theta dot is 2 radian per second. That means that theta double dot, the angular acceleration, uh, is zero. Assume the particle contact only one side of the slot at any instant. So this assumption is not really necessary, even if the particle is contacting both sides. Of course, we are going to have reaction force from from the wall from both sides but the resultant reaction force would be from one side and that's what we can find so at any time you would have a resultant a reaction force but here according to the motion we are the ball the particle is contacting the surface at this location and that's why we are going to have a reaction force from the wall acting on the particle in this side. But the first step in kinetic problem is to draw the free body diagram. And draw the free body diagram separately, not on the image. So let's draw the free body diagram here. And then we have our coordinate system. That's R. And then we have theta. So we are using a polar coordinate system. The forces that is acting on the particle, we have the weight, mg, we have the force f theta, we have n. So these are not enough, we need to make sure that we include the angles as well. So if this is theta, and then this uh, angle would be theta as well and here would be theta as well so these two lines are perpendicular to these two lines that's why you have theta here so i'm going to write my equations i have summation of forces in r and summation of forces in theta so summation of forces in r ma r summation of forces in theta would be ma theta what forces do we have in our direction force n would have a component n cosine theta mg would have a component would be in the negative direction of r so negative mg sine theta and my acceleration so n cosine theta minus mg sine theta the acceleration is r double dot minus r theta dot squared and in direction of theta i have three components i have my f theta minus mg cosine theta minus n sine theta would be m r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot we already know theta double dot is zero because theta dot is constant uh, so looking at a problem we have the value m g is known uh, the problem is uh, asking for a uh, specific theta theta 30 degrees so we have theta here what we need to find is r dot and r double dot so what is r if we go back to the image if this is 0.5 and this is theta at any instant r would be 
0.5 over cosine theta. So R would be 0.5 over cosine theta. So I need to find R dot because it's function of theta, not time. I need to use the chain rule. So this would be theta dot dr over d theta if i take a derivative of this fraction you know that the denominator would be squared uh, minus the derivative of the denominator times the numerator so the derivative of cosine theta would be negative sine theta times 0.5 i have a negative here so that would be positive 0.5 sine theta and then of course we have our theta dot we can simplify that I have sine theta cosine theta squared so I can write it as 0.5 tangent theta second theta theta dot so basically here sine theta cosine theta I just wrote it as sine theta cosine theta 1 over cosine theta and that's the definition of second and that's the tangent so that's my r dot i can find r double dot it means i have to take a derivative with respect to time so 0.5 would be a constant I have three components, one, two, and theta dot would be three. So derivative of each one with respect to time, if they need to be a chain rule, I have to include that, I have to include the theta dot, times the other two components. So let's just start with the first one, derivative of tangent theta with respect to time, times the other two components, that means second theta and theta dot plus derivative of the second theta times the other two component plus the derivative of theta dot which is the simplest one is theta double dot times the other two component which would be tangent theta and second theta and I know this component would be zero so I'm not going to include it the derivative of tangent theta with respect to time I have to use the chain rule and so the theta dot would appear so R I can write tangent theta would be sine theta cosine theta if I want to take a derivative of this with respect to theta so I have cosine theta squared uh, then this would be cosine theta squared plus sine theta. I can write it as 1 over cosine theta, uh, which is similar to second theta squared. Or I can decompose it here, call it 1 plus, and then this guy tangent theta squared so there are uh, many ways to do it but the easiest one is if I use second theta just as it's simpler and then also the derivative of second theta with respect uh, to time which I'm going to write it here derivative of second theta with respect to time so I have to use the chain rule theta dot would appear here here also on the top we have the chain rule and theta dot would appear and uh, derivative of second theta which is 1 over cosine theta so that would be cosine theta squared sine theta and then I have theta dot, theta dot. this one also I can write it as tangent theta 
second theta, theta dot if I want. Because sine cosine theta would be tangent, and then I have one cosine left, so that would be second theta. So my R double dot, if I want to write all of that together, would be 0.5 second theta cubed theta dot squared plus second theta tangent theta squared theta dot squared. So I can find R theta dot. I can plug in the values. I have theta dot and I have theta. If I plug the values, I can get 3.84 meter per second. For R dot, I get 0 0.667 and R simply 0 0.5774 meter. If I go to my equation, now I have everything. I have R dot as well, R double dot as well, R dot. The question is giving me theta dot. So I can find N and F theta. So N and F theta are the two unknowns that I have. So if I plug in the values, I can get N to be 3.72 Newton and F theta 7.44 Newton. So probably the most important part of the problem was just taking derivative of this 0.5 over cosine theta taking two derivatives and make sure that we don't make any mistakes on the way.